So taking your probe in your non-dominant hand, you're going to scan your tissue, identify what you dis uh, what is the most suitable vessel, identify whether it bifurcates. So in the case now, it splits just there and becomes two vessels. So over here, we've got a really nice large vessel. Now, one nice way to hold the probe, although your fingers end up in the gel, is resting your whole hand against the patient's um, arm. And then you can just lightly hold the probe between your hands and it provides a nice stable um, surface to just slide up and down the patient's arm. So obviously you'd be wearing gloves when you did this. Make sure to center your vessel in the screen both vertically and horizontally. And you want to make sure you're not pushing hard or you'll end up collapsing the vessel. Making sure your vessel's in the center, start a couple of mils back from your probe, pierce through the skin at an appropriate angle for the depth of your vessel, and gently approach your needle until you see a glow on your screen. So you can see the tissue moving, but we want to see there's the glow right there. Now slide your probe away just fractionally, and then advance your needle a little bit further. Now these are micro movements, okay, so just advance, probe, advance needle, advance probe, advance needle, making sure to never lose your needle tip, all right? If you're ever not sure where you are, wiggle side to side, because if you're already in the vessel and you push it further, then you may push it out the back. So always make sure you have a nice bright glow and if you're placing a cannula in a patient, you would advance all the way in. But in this instance, as we're going to do a modified Seldinger technique, all you need to do is make sure you get the needle into the center of the vein, and then you can let go. So using your wire, so on a real human, there should be blood flowing back at this point because you've got a nice bright view of your needle in the center of your vessel. You can actually put your ultrasound down and use two hands to thread your wire in. Now remembering you would be sterile at this point and you would pass your wire all the way in. Obviously this is a training arm so it's not going to thread all the way in. But you would thread it and the modified Seldinger part is removing the needle at this point and then using a scalpel blade to cut the skin and then some kind of introducer over the top. So that was your modified Seldinger technique. The regular, the, mod, the Seldinger technique is where you pass the cannula off your needle and then you thread your wire through the cannula. So the modified Seldinger technique skips the plastic cannula in the vein step and you place the wire straight through your needle.